when I was two years old, I started realizing that there was some difference between who I really was and who I was explaining myself to be. Probably around the age of five, I realized that I was different in some way. I felt like there was something wrong with me, quite frankly, but I didn't understand it. So I was really confused because I didn't want to be doing what the boys were doing. My daughter asked me when she was four, am I alone? Am I the only person that feels this way? There was a lot of embarrassment and shame. I tried, I prayed it away. I just knew that if I was a faithful practitioner, that God would heal me from this. My mom, she feels like it's because she sinned. So this is what the devil has brought upon me and brought upon her. It's a horrendous effort every day to get up and present yourself to the world as someone that you're not. It was one of those things that I just kept trying to make go away. Things weren't quite like I thought they were, but I quickly figured out I better keep my mouth shut. The idea of suppressing who you are is, I think, unfathomable to most people. High school was a nightmare. I thought about killing myself, like, every moment. I couldn't even go out, I couldn't talk to anyone, I was drinking a lot, I was smoking a lot. Alcohol was a wonderful tool. They keep it very suppressed. They think maybe they're the only one in the world for years who has this proclivity. It was a scary thing to tell your partner, I'm not what you think I am. We've had calls where employers just think, you're transgender, I get to fire you. I ran into healthcare providers who refused to provide me basic support for my bronchitis. I had no lineage whatsoever. Kids would badmouth, talk nasty, I was spit at. Trans people are beat up at the hand of police. It was found that the attacks against the transgendered persons were more violent than the other members of the uh, GLBT community. A very high rate of transgender people do commit suicide just because it is, it's incredibly difficult to live your life in the, in the way that you want to be. I've really pushed myself to question and challenge myself to, to be who I really am, to be honest with myself. I see that I was given a gift of this transition. I'm the same person, but I can now be that person with a greater sense of inner peace and authenticity. Every morning I can look at myself and say, wow, this is incredible, you are, you know, everything you've ever wanted to be. And I think every, every human being should have that. If there was a button or a pill, all right, and you could take that and make it all go away and you'd be just like everybody else, would you take it? My answer is no.